the Jets made a few waves on Thursday. Yes, the big moves have already been done, but adding cornerback Brian Poole, re-signing defensive tackle Steve McClendon and cutting running back Isaiah Crowell was a big deal. Plus, introducing running back Le'Veon Bell to the media made for some excitement. So after it was all said and done, who had a good day and who had a bad day as a result of the Jets' moves? Here's a look at Thursday's winners and losers. WINERSRP Eli McGuire The Jets' decision to cut Crowell wasn't surprising, but it was still a piece of good news for McGuire, who could now see his role increase as the complimentary back to Bell. There's always the chance the Jets add another piece between now and September, but as of right now, McGuire is the number two running back on the roster. S. Jamal Adams Bell gave Adams credit for his role as a recruiter, saying the Pro Bowl safety made it happen, referring to his signing. There's no real tangible benefit to Adams that comes with that, but getting some public kudos from one of the league's most high-profile players is certainly a nice touch. Jets Le'Veon Bell expects some rust in 2019, but here's why sitting out last season doesn't bother him at all. The New York Jets' new running back former Pittsburgh Steeler Le'Veon Bell will be a big addition for them. New England Patriots The Patriots picked up two former Jets on Thursday, safety Terrence Brooks and defensive tackle Mike Pennell. The Jets declined options on both players in February. Now we'll have to wait and see if letting them go will come back to bite general manager Mike McCagnan. LOSERSCB Perry Nickerson Before the Jets signed Poole, there seemed like a chance that Nickerson could step in and take over as the slot corner Bach, now that Buster Scrine has signed with the Bears. But those chances were put to bed Thursday, as McCagnan opted to bring in a far more experienced option to fill the position. RB Le'Veon Belloc, so it wasn't all bad for Bell on Thursday, his signing became official and we learned that he has $25 million guaranteed in his back pocket. But we also discovered, via his contract details, that the deal is effectively a two-year contract worth $26 million, for all practical purposes. Not getting guaranteed money into year three and only getting an $8 million signing bonus counts as a loss for Bell, relative to some other recent Jets contracts. Matt Stipelkowski may be reached at mstipelkowski at newadvancemedia.com. Follow him on Twitter at m underscore Find NJ.com Jets on Facebook.